All right, and now let's have uh, Rocco with his uh, movie review. Thank you very, very much, Howie. Um, the movie that I've done for you this week is none other than uh, Steve Jobs. It is directed by Danny Boyle, and it stars Michael Fassbender, Kate Winslet, Seth Rogen, and Jeff Daniels. Um, it deals with three different key um, moments in the life of uh, Apple co-founder Steve Jobs, played by Fassbender. First, the launch of the, uh, the Apple Macintosh in 1984. Uh, the next one is the uh, NEXT computer in um, 1988, um, which unfortunately uh, Mr. Jobs got um, fired from Apple after that. And then um, the third part of the movie is his comeback um, with going back to Apple and uh, launching the iMac in 1998. Um, and, and, and through the movie, he also has, um, you know, he takes you through his personal issues regarding um, his ex-girlfriend, Kristen Brennan, and their, daughter, and their daughter Lisa that they had together. Um, there have been movies about uh, Mr. Jobs before, but I feel like this is definitely the best movie that, that has ever been made about this man. This man is a, a seminal figure um, of this era because he completely... Invented so much products that that define our world today. Whether it's you know the iPhone, the iPad, um, the Max, you know, to to even start with that. Like, so he's really revolutionized that. And I think what the great thing about this movie is is that it it takes you through the mindset of a man like that, a man with such a single-minded ambition, and. It's quite awe-inspiring to watch. The only problem is, is um, the struggle with the movie, maybe for some, is that he wasn't always the most likable person, either with his family or with his colleagues. So there's a lot of, you know, the, the, the movie's a tough movie for some, because I think some people already knew about Mr. Jobs in the past. They've been, you know, stuff made about him. Uh, Ashton Kutcher did a movie um, about Steve Jobs just a couple years ago, and then there was a movie even before that, um, Pirates of Silicon Valley, with, um, with Anthony Michael Hall. And... No, but this is definitely the best one. Aaron Sorkin wrote the script, and it's a fantastic script, and it's it's really well put together. Uh, Michael Fassbender is a very good actor. He definitely does uh, the role justice, and the cast is fantastic. Everybody in this movie are, uh, does a wonderful, wonderful job. Um, the thing, like I said, the only problem is is that in, in the sense that, like, I mean, people who – let's put it this way. You think you knew Steve Jobs with the other stuff. This is the Steve Job mov Jobs movie to see. The problem is it's not doing that well, actually. I mean, the movie um, has serious Oscar potential. It is, like, that good to me. And it, I was amazed that it only opened with, like, $7 million. That's not good for um, a movie like this. A movie like this, this this is just a $30 million movie. And like I said, this is probably one of the best movies I've seen this year in terms of just the drama of it and, and taking making such a seemingly impossible film to make and really making this justice and illuminating. And I think people should go see it. I mean, hopefully this will stay in to um, time Oscar season rolls around and, and, and the nominees come out, because I think this definitely has serious Oscar potential. This is probably one of the top Oscar contenders by far. I mean, this, the whole, it just spells it, like, completely. So I would definitely say, you want to look for a good movie to go see, this is it. Go see this movie. Don't wait for it to come out in video. Go see it in the theater, because the theater is where the movie makes its money. If you do not see it now, you are going to make... The environment much harder for movies of this quality to come out in the future so i definitely say this is a one to seriously recommend so i give this movie a perfect five out of five stars wow. so thank you very much wow Whoa. wow that is wow. shocking never thought that was happening i never thought right. i see that either i really loved it all right awesome all right now we're turning over to joe satriano